I want to tell you this because I love you and you're not understanding the Bible to all my haters. This is, this is Paul in 2 Thessalonians. Notice the context um, of what Paul's talking about here. Notice the title. Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, that's the, that's the second coming, the rapture, the resurrection. We ask you, brothers and sisters, not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by the teaching allegedly from us, whether by a prophecy or by word of mouth or by letter, asserting that the day of the Lord has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped, so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Newsflash. The temple of God are the people of God until, until the second the new temple comes down out of heaven. Paul teaches, Paul writes this, and he's already developed the theology. Or I should say he will go on to develop, to develop the theology. Excuse me. He said this is probably one of the earlier letters from Paul. And then he goes on to teach that we are the temple of God as a church. Living stones. So why dispensationalism is a false teaching. Don't you remember that when I was with you, I used to tell you these things? And now you know what is holding him back. This is to Christians, folks. So that ye may be revealed at the proper time. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work. You know, First John 2, they went out from us. That's it. That's what he's talking about. The spirit. That spirit is already at work. But the one who now holds it back will continue to do so until he's taken out of the way. Then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the splendor of his coming. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders and serve the lie. In all ways, wickedness deceive those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth. And so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie, so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted in wickedness. 